welcome back to my channel. It's me, Azara and Azara's Time. So today I was going to Quora and I found a very useful message which talked about tips on how to improve ourselves within 21 days. So I thought that it would be very useful for me and it would also be useful for you. So I am going to share each tip with you guys. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So before we start, you might have a doubt of why it is 21 days and not any other number. Well, that is because there is a theory which says that it takes 21 days to form a habit. And I have 10 tips that you can practice every day and make it into a habit. So stop being all messed up and follow these tips to improve yourself just within 21 days. The first tip is to wake up early in the morning. Waking up early doesn't mean waking up before 7.30am or 8.30am. It means waking up before 5am. This is like a very hard job for most of us out there, including me. But to be productive for the day, we have to wake up early. The struggle to wake up early is true and most of us have felt that. But waking up early is a great way to start our day and it has many benefits. First of all, set your alarm to 5.30am or 5am or even before that and keep it far away from where you sleep. So the next thing you do in the morning is wake up, go to that place and turn off the alarm. But before you start off the day, remember that you have to thank God because the best thing ever is waking up in the morning, you are here, you are alive and you have this day. Now go ahead and wash your face with soap because just splashing water on your face is not that efficient. After you do that, grab yourself a cup of coffee and that could definitely help you from getting sleepy. After all this, you would feel much better. Now walk for about 10 minutes inside the room and if you still feel uncomfortable, then head straight and take a bath. But before all that, you need to sleep early at about 9pm the night before. These are all the tips that you can use to start off your day without getting sleepy. The second tip is to do exercise and meditation. Many of us might have already known the benefits of exercise. It helps us control our weight, it keeps us healthy and fit, and it also helps keep our thinking, learning and judgment skills sharp as you age. If you are going to try a new workout after so long, then start off with warm-ups because if you go straight to the workout path then you will feel so much body pain the next day. YouTube has so many ideas for warm-ups so go check them out. Moving on to meditation. We know that meditation is an approach to training the mind similar to the way that fitness is an approach to training the body. To do meditation at home, sit in a place where you feel comfortable. Turn on some meditation music. You can find that on YouTube as well. And then just observe your breath for a while. Another fact about meditation is that it can help relax your body, releasing tension and placing you in a peaceful state in which you're more likely to fall asleep. So if you can't fall asleep at night, then try doing meditation. Doing all this will surely improve yourself and it will also make you feel healthy and productive for the day. And that is what we really want. The third tip is to read. Reading can be so much fun when you have the right book. Reading books have so many amazing benefits. It strengthens our writing skills, it enhances our imagination, it increases our vocabulary and what not. Books just look like papers with words, but when you read it, you will go to so many different places inside your mind. The world of imagination would be in your hands. Normally, people read storybooks during night time and that is the right time to read. So start reading a book either online or offline. 30 minutes would be enough. The fourth tip is to drink water like a thirsty elephant. Without water, we can't live, so keep on drinking water. When we drink water, we carry nutrients and oxygen to our cells. Since our brain is mostly made of water, drinking it helps you think, focus and concentrate better. The first thing to do in the morning is drink a glass of water and always keep a bottle of water with you. Drinking water all the time is a must habit. Start writing to-do lists the night before. 
A to-do list is a list of things that you want to complete by the end of the day, the week, the month or even the year. Every day we have a bunch of tasks to complete, so you can write that in your to-do list and complete it one by one. You don't always have to write to-do lists on paper, you can also use apps for that. I'm using Keep Notes. Once you've got the tick boxes out, type in whatever you want to complete by the end of tomorrow. That means you're going to write this the night before. Here I have wrote a list of things as examples but you can write whatever you want in any topic. Don't write too much because you must complete everything by the end of that day. To-do lists are a great way of organizing your tasks and it is the best way to improve yourself. So don't forget to write your to-do list every day. The sixth tip is to be religious. If you believe in God, then take at least 10 to 15 minutes of reading your holy book. It may be the Bhagavad Gita, the Bible or the Quran. Not just that, but also pray daily because when you leave all your thoughts to God and thank Him, then you will feel more relaxed by the end of the day and you will also feel very happy. Tip 7. Set a time for social media. Social media has stayed true to its name and it is social and all, but it decreases face-to-face -face communication which is a demerit. Being on your phone all day hasn't even yet improving yourself because it just increases laziness inside you. I'm not trying to tell you to stop social media all of a sudden, but what I'm going to say is set a time for it and use it at that particular time. This will help you not be on your phone all the time. Switch off your mobile phone while studying. When you are going to study, you need to concentrate on the work you are doing and not the surroundings around you, but having a mobile phone near you will surely not help you concentrate as it will rather make you go check the notifications that are ringing in need of you to get distracted from the textbook in front of you. So make sure you keep your mobile phone far away from where you study. While you are studying and struggling with the meaning, use a dictionary rather than going on searching on Google. The ninth tip is to stay positive. There are so many ways to be positive and one of them is not being on social media for a long time, just like I said before. Another way to be positive is to stick positive quotes on your mirror or any place where you visit the most so when you read them you will know what to do in a bad situation. A smile is so powerful because smiling is good for your health and it is also a good stress reliever so keep on smiling everywhere. Always stay motivated. To do that, surround yourself in positivity. When you're motivated, nothing is impossible. You will make it possible. Sooner or later, with all your hard work, you will become a winner. The final tip of the day is to get good rest. After a long day of hard work, going to bed at 9pm is easy. But if we did nothing and were on our phone for the whole day, then going to bed is really a hard job for us and we are tempted to scroll through our phone again, leading us to a little amount of rest. Night is the most important part of our day because that's when you go to bed, take some rest and wake up the next morning for another awesome day. Everyone needs about 7-8 to eight hours of sleep. Go to bed at 9pm and wake up before 5am. That is the end of today's video. If you follow each of these tips from today onwards, then you will surely become a productive person and you will also improve yourself day by day. Do check the description because I have given all the important points of this video in there. I hope this video was useful for you. If you want more videos like this one, then let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching my channel. Hit that like button and comment your views. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you haven't, do it right now. Turn on the notification bell so that you will be updated whenever I post a new video.